Attention all operators on countdown one, we're going to begin the go-no-go -no -go for today's flight. Coke and Mentos. Go. Those chopsticks they give you at every Chinese restaurant. G-O. Chat, we are a go for launch. Yippee! There it goes. Okay. So the ISS is flying over right now, so we're gonna get they're gonna get uh, views of it. Yeah, they weren't kidding when they said it was like no clouds in the sky, no nothing. The return flag is set for true. They're going for catch already. There's hot state, dude. <laughs> Unfortunately, we did not have a pass on those commit criteria, so we were no go for tower catch. Oh. And we did. Yeah. Yo, we're going through the plume, the contrail. That's oh, good. that is sick! That's sick. Here we go, engine oh, relaunch. Oh, and they're all back! I'm not away, I'm not away! That is in. That is in. And that is in, ladies and gentlemen! Oh my god. Oh, I'm about to sh my pants! Hi. It's been about six months since you last saw me and my friend Flight Paul watch SpaceX catch a 20 story tall rocket with giant metallic arms. Just look at that handsome gentleman. And since then, they've launched not one, not two, but three different starships. Two of which made it back to Earth. In like, several different pieces. It's like a fireworks show for the Caribbean. <laughs> now I did actually record my reaction to both Flight 6 and Flight 7, but our full reaction to Flight 6 is actually up on my friend Flight Paul's channel, both of which will be linked in the description. Are we gonna get onboard view hot stage or are they gonna do like... They're gonna have a tracking shot on the booster. Shut up! Today we watched the 8th launch of the Starship vehicle from Boca Chica, Texas. Which, not gonna lie, I don't think the ship was meant to do that. The launch was originally supposed to happen three days before on March 3rd, but sadly, that's not how it ended. Alright, you I'm see hanging. the clock rolling. Oh. oh! It is time to go for launch. 30 seconds to go. Oh, shit. Oh. And we just heard a hold. Holding at 40. Damn! So kicked. Psych. Yeah, uh, so we did kick out back to the T minus 40 hold. I'm gonna sit back Don't here. Do it. I'm gonna be pissed if they done all of this progress, especially with booster catch, and flight eight ends up like IFT one. There's 1.6 million people watching. All right, the timer's rolling again. Oh nope, psych. Yeah. You thought we're holding at T minus 40 once again. All right, and we did just hear the call. We are gonna offload for today, so we have a couple of holds trip as we started counting T minus 40 again. Ah, uh, why do we do this, man? <laughs> why do we fucking do this, bro? This launch ultimately had the same outcome as Flight 7, where they once again caught the booster, but shortly after, lost the ship. It's also the reason why there was no Flight 7 video. Apart from the... you know... Oh, I'm about to sh my pants! If you guys are enjoying this type of content on the channel, please consider subscribing. And stay tuned for the Flight 9 reaction, because me and my friend have a really cool idea for it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Max Q Central. Currently, we are looking at Starbase, Texas, where we are awaiting the eighth launch of the Starship vehicle. Uh, today, I am joined by Flight Paul Aviation. You heard his voice last time because uh, he was there, except it was 7 in the morning, and, you know, you had to be quiet because there were still people sleeping in both of our houses. Chat, I got Flight Paul here. I dragged his ass out of bed. He's, uh, he's here. He in spirit. You can't see him, but... <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you if you if you heard him, he, he made a noise. But today we actually have him on camera. Hello, everybody. Flight Paul Aviation here, co-commentator and founder of Max Q Central, also CEO and founder of Squishes Explorations. How you doing? Are we gonna turn Max Q Central into like a corporate trademarked entity? We could make merch out of it. Where <laughs> next time get shirts to say Max Q Central. We wear them on screen. Then we're they're like Dan and Kate, just being like, "Welcome yes. to Starbase." Today we are here with the Starship vehicle. Anyways, how are we doing today, Flight Paul? It is currently 6.06 .06 p.m. As you can see here, the Starship looks very pointy. Obviously, the pointier the rocket, the more intimidating it looks. It has to be pointy. Um, if it's around on top, it puts a smile on the enemy's face. The Block 2 Starship absolutely looks gorgeous, especially with that uh, glare of the sun, as we can see right now behind the Mechazilla Tower. We can see some... Uh, so, oh, oh, now we're hotboxing all the Starbase. Oh, shit. That. We get it, bro. You we're hotboxing the fuck out of this place. <laughs> Guys, it's Chris Gebhardt from NSF. Oh, we got Squishy here. Yes. So we Squishy. He's in the background. You got to get out of our comfort zone. Right, Squishy? I'm being held hostage. Squishy's also going to become a freaking corporate entity, too. What's Kate yapping about? <gasps> flappy flaps. It's Flappy Flap. <laughs> anyway, this thing's going to the Indian the Ocean, presumably. Attention all operators on countdown one. This is the final go-no-go no go for today's flight. Ship. Go. Tower. Go. 
those chopsticks that they continue to give you at every Chinese restaurant. G O motherfucking go. Huggies. Affirm. Last but not least, celebratory spinnies. A firm. We are go for launch. Chat, we are a go for launch. I just said that. Looks like the venting stopped. Hold on. Oh wait, we gotta pause at 40 seconds, guys. guys. 10 seconds away Tom. from that T minus 40 hold. We'll... Oh, so we are holding. We're not doing this again. Please, right, for the love of God. All right, we're oh, counting. We the go. timer's still going. Here we go. The timer's still going. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Uh, I'm counting one. Flight of Starship. Go for launch. Oh, it's that, baby. Flight director. <laughs> we're ready to go for launch, baby. Just keep in mind, if everything goes well on flight eight, this also means they will be catching the Starship on flight nine, and I will be there. Five. Five. Four. Cuatro. Three. Tres. Two. Two. One. One. And lift off of Starship. Not yet. There's your lift off. And lift off of Starship. Ooh. Ooh, my All god. right. Oh god. Here we go. Look at those mock diamonds, dog. The mock diamonds are. Out avoidance maneuver. Time. That drone is way too close. Oh my god. Was that a roll program? That was a hard shot though. I think, oh, no, didn't do it yet. Look oh, at that. There goes the camera. <laughs> there goes roll program. We get it. You vape. That looks good. From the bottom, all engines. Oh, that was nice. Or that was, a, that was either TPS that just fell off or what? Here we go, Max Q. Kind of like the name Max Q Central. Uh, hey, me so Look at that. They do have. That's a nice view. Look at the shadow. That looks like a nominal pitch over. That looks pretty good. That looks like a IFT1 pitch over. <laughs> all right, we're getting close to stage separation. Good. Are we going to have all 16 engines show up in this one now? So far, so good on the booster right now. No <laughs> engines are off right now. Five, it looks good planes. so far. It looks Everything looks fine. All engines are nominal. Oh, look at that second view. Yeah. This is a callback to the Flight 2. IFT 2. Oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, here goes pitch over. Miko. Miko! Here we go. Hot staging. Come on. Come on! And Stage successful hot staging. Confirmed. Oh, shoot. Two engines are out. Two engines. Oh, I don't like that. I don't think we're gonna get catched today. You can see the booster okay. going back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the thing though. All right, now I have a theory. Okay, so this is intentional then. My theory is that this is intentional. <gasps> Engine bay. Let's go. The separation of the hot stage. The fire alarm's going off Yo. at Hawthorne. Yo. I'm thinking. Oh no. Maybe not. Oh, here it is. I'm thinking we might have had an offshore divert. Yeah, that's far out. Oh, oh yeah, God. that's 100% coming back. Oh, that's it. That is 100% oh coming God. back, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, my heart's racing. Flight 9's gonna have three engines out. Watch. Oh my God. Yeah, don't jinx it, please. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the plasma. Show us, like, can we get a view in color? Here we go. Four, three, two. Engine relay. Engine relay, come on! All but one engine. All but one. You know what? That's I. Think we got it. Here we go. Oh, that's tipped over a lot. Ooh, that tipped over a lot. Uh oh. Oh, that's a new angle. That's a new angle. Here we go. That's looking oh, come good. On. Looking good. Oh, oh. Oh. That's in. That's in! Let's go! That's the third catch. Let's go! That looks super sketchy though. Oh my god. I know you saw that smoke at the bottom. I know that just looked so wrong. This proves something that even with engines out, they can still perform a catch. It looked like it was tipping so hard. It was tipping, dude. I actually thought it was. I thought it was gonna. I thought the engines weren't gonna light. I actually thought the engines weren't gonna light. We're looking for 26.5 on the. Oh. You see that? What is that? We're looking for 26.5 on the speed. 145. Ship's turning a little bit. Looks nominal. That, that reaction of the booster catch was. Well, uh oh. Ah! ah! No! Fuck! Saw some engines oh, go shit. Saw them! No! Looks like we are losing attitude control of the ship. Oh, oh no. Can we get. Can we, can we get it back? I don't think so. Dude, that is, oh, no. that is out of control. At least we get to see it this We're, time. 
We're, we're not getting a boost. We're not getting a starship catch on flight nine, guys. Can they save it? No, this thing is fighting. Oh off. nope, there's only one engine. One there's only one engine. We're, it's over. Oh no. Telemetry's gone. Oh no, telemetry's still oh, going. Oh no. Telemetry's gone. Telemetry's back. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Box is up. Box is down. You can see it just behind us here. Uh, the booster had a successful catch back at the tower. Oh, that's gone. gone. It's gone. We lost it's gone. And it's gone. We are standing here. What just happened? <gasps> We will provide that as soon as we are. I had able. hope. Um, but yes. I had so much hope, bro. Pretty incredible. At least we got a catch. <laughs> At least we got a catch. It was the most anticlimactic one, though. Again. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Where's Elon? Where's Elon? Whatever's happening, they're not doing it right. It was worse this time. Why did Block One do so much better? After that, we sat there curious as to what the hell happened to Starship. Meanwhile, over the Caribbean. Oh, right now it's going over Florida. Wrenching is viewed from Cape Canaveral. Wait, you can see it from Cape Canaveral? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That's insane. Look at that. Ooh, that's sick though. Dr. Chicago's getting ready for round two. Funny enough, we actually have a friend who lives in the area we entered over. Hold on, I'm gonna tell Star to go outside. Star, go outside. Can you see ship? There's a star ship <laughs> broken in the sky. You know what I gotta say about that? Son of a bitch! <laughs> Son of a Christ. bitch!